A great way to improve your art is to get out of your comfort zone, which is what all of these challenges are about. But let's dive into the drawing. And it was so scary pressing that timer. I wanted to make sure that I was making this as challenging as possible for myself. So I didn't want to already start out with a sketch of my proportions all down, which I usually do with these videos. I normally start with my sketch outline already done, but I thought there's no way I can do that for a time challenge because creating the initial sketch and mapping out those proportions takes up a massive amount of time. And if I already had that down and accurate, that would definitely feel like cheating. So this made the challenge even more difficult because not only did I have to do all of the shading, but I had to get down those initial proportions as well. To really try and get this done faster, I tried a new technique that I've never actually done before. And that is where I go in with, I'm using these soft tools and they're basically just sponge applicators. And I'm going to use that charcoal powder I created to just map and block in some of the larger chunks of value before I go in and add fine details. So for example, in the reference, her hair was really dark. So instead of creating all of that shading with a small pencil that would take forever, I just went in with a load of charcoal powder on this sponge tool and I just blocked it in. And this was a much faster way of just laying down those values before I got bogged down in all of the details. And this was really effective at just getting down the foundation of the portrait, mapping in where the different values are, where the lights and darks, and then I could just clean and refine things at the end with my pencils and add in those details. But the majority of the work and getting in the structure of the portrait was done with this technique. And I felt really good at this stage. I felt like the proportions were somewhat accurate. I was really happy with how quickly I was able to get in those proportions. In like the first five minutes, I'd already mapped out where I wanted the eyes, nose, mouth and everything to go and it wasn't looking too bad. So I was really pleased with that. And I definitely felt confident at this stage as well when I was blocking in these values, I could feel it coming together and I could see the potential in the drawing. It was definitely weird trying out a new technique and also being under a lot of pressure with the time. But in a way it was also quite freeing because I didn't have the luxury of second guessing myself or being, you know, too much in my own head. I just went with my intuition a bit with the values and blocking things in and working from big shapes to smaller details. And it was a really relaxing way of working, which it sounds weird because I'm under a massive time constraint, but it was really relaxing to just sort of go with the flow a bit more and not be too precise about everything and just get, get something down on the paper. And then once I got in the darker values with the charcoal powder, I basically did the same thing with the white pastel. And as you can see, I'm using toned paper. That's this warm gray color. And this acts as a nice mid-tone value so that I could just go in with the charcoal and the white and create those lighter and darker values. And I didn't have to cover all of the paper with this mid-tone shade because it was already there. I just had to get in the lights and darks, which really sped everything up quite a bit. And then for the last 15 minutes, I'm going in with my pencils and refining the features a bit more and adding details to the hair. And this is the stage where everything's going to come together and I'm going to try and create more of a realistic look to the drawing. And at this point, I was definitely feeling under pressure because adding details definitely takes so much time. When you're only working with a small pencil, a single lead, it takes ages to add details to even a small area. And especially when you've got lots of different features to render, like the eyes, the lips, and the hair, the time was really getting to me and I started to feel a lot less confident about creating 
a realistic drawing in the amount of time I had left. And you can see that the time is just going down. I've only got five minutes left to make this look realistic. And even though there's definitely potential in the drawing and you can see how this could look realistic, I think at this point it's becoming quite clear that it would be very hard to make it look as realistic as it could be with the small amount of time I had left. So I just tried to do the most that I could with the time that I had left. I went in and added a few details to the hair using my Tombow Mono Eraser. That's a really great tool for pulling up highlights. So I used that to pull up some strands of hair. And I also used it to define the hand a bit more. The hand was probably the weakest area in terms of proportions. And I also went in and added a few details to the eyes before the time ran out. Here you can see the drawing after 30 minutes and I was really surprised how quick that 30 minutes went. I honestly felt pretty good when I was like 10 minutes in and I'd got the proportions in place, it was feeling good. But then as time went on and I got to like the detailing stage, time was going really quickly and it just became really obvious that I wasn't going to be able to make this that sort of realistic standard that I know it could look with that amount of time remaining. I'd got the proportions in place, I felt like everything was good, but when it came to adding details to the hair or eyelashes, I just didn't have enough time to add in all of those details without taking loads of shortcuts. It was really hard to get in fine details because it just took so much time so I'd only be able to do a couple of details on each area before moving on otherwise if I spent a lot of time on one area then another area wouldn't be nowhere near completed so I think having to jump around so much but yet do nothing to completion meant that it just wasn't looking realistic after those 30 minutes but I definitely saw potential in it. I thought that it looked really good. So I decided to finish it off and see how much longer I actually did need to create a realistic drawing that I was somewhat proud of. Going into this next section of time on the drawing, I definitely knew that the areas that needed to be improved the most was the eye and also the hair because I definitely think that I was a little bit on the big side for her face and the hair just needed a lot more structure and a lot more definition because it mainly at the moment was just the shading that we did at the start with the sponge tool and the charcoal powder. I didn't have time to do much defining with the hair with the pencils. And I went in and I also just made the eye a little bit smaller and I just cleaned up the proportions a bit more and added a little bit more detail. And I found that a lot of the time that I spent on this part of the drawing was just me fixing mistakes that I made in the first 30 minutes when I was rushing and I was taking lots of shortcuts. I was actually just having to go through and just fix those errors in order to make it look realistic. For example, in the first 30 minutes, because I was rushing to complete every area, I did a lot of messy back and forth shading, especially with the hair. And this meant that it wasn't really looking realistic and an accurate texture for the hair. So I had to go back in and just clean that up and add more layers of shading with the pencil to make it a realistic looking hair texture and same with the the eyebrow at the start I just sort of blocked it all in it was it wasn't really looking very detailed it was looking just like a, a big block of shading on her face so I just went back in and I cleaned up the shape of the eyebrows and added a few more individual eyebrow hairs just to make it look a little bit more natural and a lot of this step was just making little tweaks to each area, really analyzing the reference and looking at the drawing and just taking that time to see what was missing, what was a bit off, what didn't quite look right. And I definitely went a lot slower and was more calculated about the marks that I was making. 
I didn't have to rush, I had more time to think about what I was doing and so I was able to render a much more accurate representation of the reference in this final, it ended up being another hour that I spent on this drawing. In this final hour, I was just able to really focus on the reference and not just quickly shade things in without thinking. I had a lot of time to make sure that I was getting the shape of the eye right and the nose and the values and the lighting. And I definitely used that white pastel a lot more than I did with the first 30 minutes. I used that a lot more to add tiny highlights to the nose and strands of flyaway hair that just really made the portrait pop and made it look realistic. The hair, as you can see, looks a lot more natural, a lot more detailed, and the eye looks more realistic now. I managed to add a nice highlight in the eye and make it a little bit smaller, as well as the lips, I added more texture there and I refined the shape of the hand a bit more to make the proportions a bit more accurate and added details like the ring on her finger. And in the first 30 minutes, I just didn't have time to focus on those little details and details are key to making a drawing look realistic. And having the time to analyze my reference made a massive difference in how this drawing turned out. Another hour has gone past and you can see that I have now finished up this drawing and I was really proud of what it eventually turned into. I think those first 30 minutes were actually really good at getting me out of my head not worrying too much or overthinking too much, just getting something down on the paper. It was quite good for that because a lot of people can get to that blank piece of paper and just freeze up and really struggle. But when you have a timed challenge like this, you just have to get started. You don't have time to think. You just start making marks on the paper and start sort of shading where the different values are. And it was really good for that. It was really good for just getting something down on the paper, getting a sort of foundation in place. And then I could spend that extra time just adding in those details you know, within that last hour that really brought it to life and made it a drawing that I could be proud of. Of course, it's not to my usual standard that it would be if I spent hours, you know, perfecting the sketch and then really spent ages, you know, building up the layers of shading. But for a quick time challenge where I ended up having to almost redo mistakes that I made in the thir first 30 minutes, I think it turned out really well. I'm really enjoying doing these challenges on this channel. So if there's any other challenges that you can think of, let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to do them for you. And if you did enjoy this video, then check out this other one where I basically try to do realism, draw a realistic drawing with only three colors. That was a really challenging video, but I think it turned out really well. So check that out if you are interested in these type of videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.